Here with Lincoln. I'm doing some programming. Lincoln's learning Spanish. Duo lingo is awesome. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Huh? You pooped in the refrigerator. Heading over to the barn. Kids aren't with me. Sanderson's over with Caitlin right now. Uh, got an early morning training session with the throwers. Got some programming to do. Trying to get a, a unique product. I got a meeting afterwards and then we're going to the auction to the farmer's market. More programming. Got the high school football in the afternoon. More throwing, weightlifting. Anton almost fell out of the van. And then I got uh, kids tonight. So it should be fun. Filled day. My fucking car is so goddamn fucking dirty it pisses me off it's like dude sometimes i just don't have my fucking shit together i got shit all over the fucking place in this thing Trying to set up this meeting, this business meeting, to try and bring out like a this sweet product, fitness product to market. I've called this company like five times, they're a manufacturer, and they just keep putting me off. And I email them, and no email response. So I'm gonna wait another day, and then I'm gonna go into this place and try and get them to actually manufacture what I want. And it's something that I learned with Earthfed Muscle that to find contract manufacturers that'll take you seriously is hard because you gotta come at them with like. Like, they don't think anybody's got money. They don't think anybody has a good idea because they've dealt with a lot of flaky motherfuckers. So, not that I have money, but I have good ideas. <laughs> I'm just frustrated and annoyed. I'm going to the farmer's market, though, to get some good food and walk around. Although Lincoln's not with me, he's usually here. Check that out. This guy up here in the left is a World War II vet right here. Fucking badass motherfucker. So I like getting, I got bananas, I got a whole chicken from that rotisserie, I got some Cooper cheese. Now I'm just sitting down having a coffee. It's like my favorite place to just watch people. There's a lot of unique people in Leesport, Pennsylvania. All right, so I got a pound of coffee beans that are covered in chocolate. Probably one of my favorite snacks. Dark chocolate covered. Uh, whole chicken from the rotisserie. Bananas grown in Pennsylvania. And some Cooper cheese. I already said that. So now I'm getting in the old Sprinter. Heading back home for lunch. Gotta get some work done. Get ready for the afternoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you just go potty on the floor? Started here and then he did the rest yeah, of the yeah, potty. Yeah, yeah. And then carried it over and spilled yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Sanderson, nice kicks. Head no to pick up Big D. Got afternoon training at a football team, throwing, weightlifting, repeat. Time to get swole, baby. Let's go, Vito. Why there potholes there? for the grass-fed burger. <laughs> Ooh. You like that idea. Got back from football. Throwing time. Sam setting up the trippy hop station. Rachel's last throwing session this week. Sunny, warm. Goats are frolicking, headbutting each other. This is Seth. He's gonna be the skinniest kid to ever throw 60 feet. And subsequently the most awkward kid to ever throw 60 feet. Right, Seth? <laughs> There's Jakey. Jakey, the wet noodle.
It's a pretty sunset. It's a pretty ass sunset. <laughs> Dude, Sam had some big throws. Rachel had some some of her best 3K throws that I've seen since she hurt her hand, so that's good. Uh, finished strong with an 11-pounder. Seth was throwing pretty well. Jake had a couple decent throws, but he did a ROTC test today, so it's fun. Good fun session. It's awesome for these kids to come out and toss when Sam's putting them into the fence. Uh, just a really good experience. Check that baby out. Can you see it? That's a... That's a sharp chin right there, baby. That's a sharp chin falcon. They're one of the fastest birds in the world, actually. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Make it good. Yeah. Give me two more. Dale, 160 kilo jerk, one rep. If he hits it, I buy his wings for two weeks. If he missed it, I get to slap his back as hard as I can. Yeah. Shark me. Excellent day of training. Dude, it was awesome. Sam was killing shit and discus when we got back from football. Football team worked out really well. Uh, Rachel was throwing pretty well before, before this coming meet on Friday. Young kids were throwing well. Just nice day to, to get out and toss. You know, came into the gym. Everybody was crushing weights, dude. The whole gym. It's like when, when, when that barn is rocking and everybody's just grooving shit, it just... Everybody feeds off each other. It doesn't stop. It's so cool. It's like weightlifters killing it, throwers killing it, you know, random older guys killing shit, repping 225 for 10 reps, like 50 year old men. It's, dude, it's like everybody just starts rocking and rolling and it's it's awesome. I love it. It was so fun. Haley doubled 95 and jerk. Dude, she hit five doubles at 64. Dale was doubled 50, hit 60 in a bet. Everybody just lifted really well. Jake Horse today, 150 on the front squat. Like, we got, dude, this is no joke. You come into the gym at this place and uh, at my gym, and everybody in there is someone legit. It's no joke. So, I had a ton of fun today. Long day, busy, tiring, but it is fun to help people crush weights. Follow me, Instagram, and at Garage Strength. Go to Garage Strength Farm on Facebook. Word word of the day. Listen to Ghostface Killer. <laughs>